All right, we're heading into the coating room, and you're probably wondering, why do we coat seed? Well, generally, the seed that we coat is bigger seed, and we want to basically make it heavier and a little bit smoother so a commercial grower can sow it or plant it on a sewing machine. So uh, a lot of seed is kind of fuzzy, uh, lightweight, and that's kind of nature's way of being able to disperse seed. If it's fuzzy, it'll stick on the animal's fur. If it's lightweight, it'll be blown by the seed. But we have to overcome those aspects for a grower to be able to successfully uh, plant that seed in a very quick and methodical manner. Uh, most seed is also very dark. It blends in with the soil, so we make it bright yellow so that the customer can see it on their pole plant. You just basically take seed that's, that's nature made to disperse itself in all different kinds of ways and you make it a lot more easy to handle yes. for the human. Yes. Okay, and for the machine. Right. Very interesting. Okay. Cool deal. Well, let's go check it out. All right, so these are the machines that you guys use to coat seed, right? Yes, and these machines we actually developed in-house, um, built okay. them ourselves. They are really cool. They are. So how does this work? Well, what are these things here? Uh, this is, um, these are handles here that actually uh, control a gate to allow the air flow here in the town. Okay. So actually we're going to um, have Jaime come over and he's going to show us how this works okay. here. Hey Jaime, how you doing? Okay, so Jaime's going to turn off our solution. We'll talk about that in a second. And he's going to adjust the amount of air that goes in this column. Okay. Whoa, look so at that. So he can increase it or decrease it. So, so what, is the, what does the air movement do? Does that help get a nice even coat in some sort of way? or? Well, we actually want the seed to kind of flow above these nozzles that are spraying the solution. Okay. So when the seed comes into the machine and we start spraying, it becomes heavier. So as it becomes heavier, we have to keep lifting it up so it's not touching the nozzles. So it doesn't all uh, just kind of kind of clump up at the bottom, I exactly. guess. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Very, very cool. So what are you spraying up into here? It's, it's How does actually that work? It's a coating solution. It's a it's a, a trade secret. Okay. But here we have our base coat, and it's white, okay. and it's being sprayed uh, through this pump to these nozzles. Okay. So it comes out the nozzles as a fine mist, sure. and as the seed comes along, it picks up a very, very thin layer, will go up and dry, come back for another coat, and it's okay. just a continuous cycle of very, very uh, fine layers of this mist. And eventually, it'll, it'll basically um, build up to twice its normal weight. Okay. And then when we get a twice its normal weight, we'll switch over here. And we'll put a we'll put the uh, second coat on. We call this our slug coat. So, so this this coat is yellow. This is the, like the top the final coat or the top coat, the, if yeah, you will. That's right. Okay. And uh, what what differentiates this uh, coat is that it's very slippery. So okay. when the grower is uh, using this as their automated seeder, they don't want the seed to uh, bunch up. They want it to just slip and slide into their machine. Very cool. And with it being bright yellow, it's going to show up really nice against the soil. Yes, yes it will. Now what kind of seeds are, are these in here right now? Are these marigolds? These or? are marigolds, yes. Okay. That's our number one coat of crop. Okay. So the, the processing just helps keeping it from, from sticking together and binding up in the machinery that the grower might use right. or even doing it by hand. It just makes it easier to handle. Much, yeah, much easier. Very, very mm -hmm. cool. All right. Well, thank you. All right.